This week, we lost a man. For us, it's a collective loss. In trucking, there's a brotherhood. If you never lived it, it's hard to understand. But when you work for the same company, that brotherhood takes on a real meaning. We share an identity. When we pull into a customer and we see a long lineup of trucks, we look for one of us. When we pull into a truck stop, we scan the parking lot for one of us. We meet thousands of trucks on the road every day, but we wave when we see one of us. When we have problems, it's one of us that comes to help. A boost for a dead battery, a pull for a stuck truck, sometimes even a few bucks for a new driver who hasn't gotten his first paycheck yet. We spend hours driving down the road, talking and keeping each other company. Stories from the road of family, hobbies, plans for the future. We get to know each other quite well as the years go past. In the news, one man is dead and another faces charges. A crash that has closed down the westbound 401 in Whitby. It happened around 10 last night. A white Jeep passed a transport truck and pulled in front, cutting the truck off. The two collided. Big rig rolled over and uh, basically shredded the cab, killing the 51-year-old truck driver from Iron Prior. The Jeep driver, age 32, currently under arrest by OPP, facing a charge of impaired driving caused death. If anybody was in trouble, he, he was there to help you. No matter what. You didn't hear from him every day unless there was a major issue. Dealt with every little day things himself the proper way. Never had a complaint about him. Customers loved him. Thought he was great. They don't come that way anymore. Lindsay used to work for our company. Um, Lindsay was a great guy. Lindsay was a driver's driver. He was a leader. Uh, people tried to follow him, but there was no way. You knew where you stood when you were talking to Lindsay. Well, he's a great person. Yeah, he's eccentric. He loved <laughs> a joke. Eccentric. <laughs> he could be. <laughs> and uh, just the one-liners. Like He had so much time to think about these things in his truck that I think that's what made him the guy he was. I didn't feel like... I missed out too much. Dad always made a really hard effort to make it to as many events as he could for me. He would not miss a Halloween for me because he always took me out. He was at every single Christmas concert. He was there for me. Yeah. He made sure I always, he always was home for that. He never missed anything for me. Well, I'm very proud of him for what he did. Very sad that he's gone. But, but, but very proud that he, that he has saved up, saved the driver and saved other people that were in, on the road. I think that was just his instinct, was to put people before himself. A lot of inexperienced drivers uh, may have done something different on that highway that night and there would have been a lot more people killed. He was a hero. Definitely. Even without this, he was a hero. Well, you, you could tell the amount of respect that people had for him with the amount of people that had came. I think he would have absolutely loved being oh sent my, off that way. Oh that God. was, yes, that yeah. kind of wrapped up his whole yeah. career. Right there is just the amount of support and love and respect that he had from all of his co-workers and just people that hadn't even worked with him but had known him from being on the road. They all came together for him that day and right before the hearse had left they all blew their horn saying like a salute to my dad. It was, it was beautiful. There goes my hero Watch him as he goes. There goes my hero. He's ordinary. We're 
we're proud of him. Very proud, and it means so much to us because yes. he was our hero, but yeah. now to be recognized by other people as a hero just, it blows us away. It's, it's touches your heart. Yeah. Yeah. Out of such a sad and tragic situation, it brings happiness. Lindsay didn't choose to be a hero. He didn't practice or train for it. Um, Lindsay was an ordinary man faced with an extraordinary circumstance who acted with courage uh, and compassion and tragically he paid the ultimate price. And, and I think with that single selfless act, Lindsay became a hero. I remember well a trip in 98 that Lindsay and I took during the ice storm to Quebec City. He had way more experience, so I just followed him and trusted he would get me there and home. We were not close friends, but on the road we saw each other often. We had the odd meal together. As I pull into the yard tonight, I'm one of the last trucks off the road. I see the empty parking spaces of the truck still out. One isn't coming home tonight. One of us isn't coming home. Ever since the fire went